And if we're a church, my friends, that values reaching lost people, we'll work to keep the same balance. Firmness about sin. Compassion for the broken. This is not easy. I get this. There have been many times where, where Jesus has to cuff me over the head when I'm looking down at somebody around me and, and say, hey, son, these people you're secretly despising might just come to me if they could find one of my followers who would love them and accept them. I think I told you this story before. I, I'm getting to a point where I've been here a few months now, so I might be circulating stories, but a guy named Paul in England who... Uh, he was an evangelist at the church where I worked at, and Paul loved the lost. And I'll never forget a day I was walking with Paul, and we were, tell, we were going around and visiting some church people, and we came across the, uh, about six young people, teens on a school playground, and they were breaking soda bottles against a wall. And my, my first reaction was, and I started to work up a lecture, because I knew that these kids needed it. And, and I knew that they would respond to a proper tongue lashing, and when it was over, they would say, gee, mister, thank you so much. Can I hear more about this Jesus? I knew that's how it would roll out. Paul walked up to them. First thing's out of his mouth. Hey, guys, you're bored today, aren't you? He started to talk. They started to talk with him, have a conversation. And before, before long, he's talking to them about Jesus and inviting them to church. Hey, we got some youth groups. Love you to come and check it out. And I just sat back and I marveled. My jaw went like this. That's loving the lost. 